GNOME Shell 3.34 Beta 2 was released yesterday, and we have a feature freeze exception, and most specifically we have a new CLI tool for managing extensions. I've been using this tool for a few weeks now, but I wasn't sure if it would be included on the final release, so I never demoed it before. But now it's finally here, so time to review it. It basically replaces the current GNOME Shell extension tool command, with a more user-friendly CLI, plus it has some additional features. This is what we have now, and when for example we want to enable an extension, there is not auto-complete, or any way to see the installed extensions. And it is kind of impossible to remember the full extensions names, so this tool is kind of useless. The new command is called GNOME Extensions, which is already a plus because of the shorter name, and that aside, there are some more goodies. So, we can enable an extension, or disable it, reset it, uninstall it, list all the extensions, see the info, open preferences dialog, create a new one from template, pack it, or install from a bundle. I won't go through all the options, that are self-explained anyway but only the ones that are interesting for most of people. And I will start with the list option, that is listing all the installed extensions, both from system and user. So now we can see all the extensions we got, and that alone makes the experience much smoother already. But it doesn't stop there. Because we also have auto completions. For example, if we want to enable dash to panel extension, we simply type enable, and then we can press tab to get the full name. But that only works for Bash and I have Z shell, but again isn't much of an issue, because we can copy from the above list. Oh, and by the way! I want to upload a video with Dash to Panel and GNOME 334, but there is this tiny super small problem, that the preferences window is bugged and it doesn't open. So I'm waiting for fixing that. 